Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to some Impaction of the Genshin. With Erno, on, Erno currently on holidays, so we'll be playing a bunch of co-op games with him in the next few weeks while he's on holidays. But until he gets his lazy bus out of bed, I'll be doing the Genshin event. So, enjoy back in Twitch drops, and let's see what, how things go. Things first. I'm gonna spend a bit of that resin. <sighs> it's getting a little cold. Time to bundle up. Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Time to go. <laughs> Mushrooms. Boingy. Hey, you're too small, you keep missing. Okay, next one's... Ah. They're in the middle of the desert, I'll run to them. Like no exploring of this desert. What's my desert percentage at? Oh, it's 47 actually going up a little bit. 20, 23 in there. 45, 19. Basic smear is pretty high. <sighs> oh. Sorry. It's been a long day. Sorry about that. Illusion shattered. Yeah. Birds call. You get in the circle. You get in the zone. Who 
says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. That big guy is chugging around. There is no escape. The wind knows her. Grow, grow, grow! The temple of wisdom. Quiet enough. Here comes the catch. A chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues. Nailed it. A chest full of valuables mm. and a trove of potential clues. Yeah. Illusion shattered. Gotcha. Take it easy. What are you looking at? Boss fights I have to do if I finish my weekly. I don't know. Okay, I took a lot of boss fights. Sunlight is such a pain. No way I can get a nap in this weather. That's hey, fellas! Gotcha. Mm, Chinese. Take it easy. No, this one, this one, I can't cheat. Eat and learn. Suffering on the edge of tomorrow. Eat and learn. From the words of yesterday. What things? Soup. Tasty, tasty soup. They've done the cooking, haven't I? I haven't cooked 20 dishes yet.
Thank you for comp. Add ash. Add ash with some apple sauce. I forgot one. Time for some tea. Faster, damn it. If you ever Okay. Much more quest done. Time to head back to the fairgrounds. Yula. Hey, Kali and Yula! Oh, Adia is here too! Hey, it's the Traveler in Paimon! How are you? Did you rest well? Yep, this is a comfortable place to rest. I guess that's one thing here that's better than the desert. But other than that, there's not much going for this place. Saying things like that isn't going to help, Adia. But it's the truth. The desert is full of terrible memories for me. Being there was like... Yeah, like wading through thick mud. That's a weird way to put it. Hmm. Actually, if you hadn't mentioned it, Paimon would have already forgotten that this domain is in the desert. I know what you mean. The air here isn't at all like the desert. It's very humid. Almost as if we're in the rainforest. It's a very familiar feeling for me. <sighs> Everyone looks well rested. If you're ready, we can start making our way to the jungle north of here. Good luck, everyone! I'll be rooting for you. They're gonna Hold help. on. I said we, didn't I? No need to say goodbye, because you're coming too. Huh? Oh, wait, uh, I'm, I'm just the mascot! You can't back out this time, Adia. The manager of the fairgrounds is waiting to see you. She said, Adia is the only person who could help. <laughs> yes, Kale and I discovered a fairgrounds in the forest. The person in charge of it seems to be a Spotamod scholar. A scholar? But what's she doing there? Researching the forest ley lines? Oh, I wish there were ley lines here that I could ever study. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. I'd better come along then. Yeah. <laughs> uh.
What happened? Seems like magic to me. Magic happened. No one saw anything. Nope. Got nothing. I'll be pulling every now and then. I still want to get this character. This is where the place I tried to go yesterday. I couldn't go there. Locked me out. Here, bloopy blobs. Tasty, tasty chest. And a trove of potential clues. <laughs> oh, this thing. A chest full of valuables. The trove of potential clues. I'm a master at this. Just up there. <laughs> Thank you, cheetah. They angry with each other. Brings a smile to my face. God damn, you ruined my hiding spot. We bring you bring million illumination radius themed. Can't cross the colors. Oh, finally, someone has arrived. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mimuna. We've brought a deal with us. Thank you, Kale. It's been quite some time since I've seen you, Idia. To be honest, I didn't think you'd actually show up. 
If anything, I thought you'd be curled up somewhere crying alone. Jesus Christ, everyone's mean to her. Hey, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be the first time Hymon's heard someone say that about Adia, though. You wanna see me cry? Fine! I'll stop crying right here! Uh, no, please don't! All right, all right, I shouldn't have said that. Now, who are these two? I am your god! And Paimon is Paimon! They're reliable helpers! Lucky I... for you that I found them! Okay. You better be more careful about how you speak to them, okay? Of course. Good to meet you. You may call me Maymuna. For the sake of time, we should forego the usual pleasantries. Please, follow me. Hey, when... This person will order load, and sometimes it doesn't order load. Where is it? I actually can't find it on the list. It is. There we go. Is it what you want, Zenar? Yes, it is. It's always what you want. Chests over here? I think I was here at a different time. Oh, I gotta come back here for an event. Getting ahead of myself. It's a big tent. Amazing, isn't it? I helped make it. What fun would a fairground be without a tent, right? Really? <gasps> Paimon knew you couldn't be so pathetic. You just act modest all the time to hide your actual abilities. Uh, huh? Any? What is it, Kale? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should tell you. I'm afraid it might dampen the mood. That's not important. Please, just speak your mind. Uh, well... There are lots of vendor booths set up here, but there's no one running them. In fact, there's no one at this fair at all. <laughs> it looks pretty deserted. The truth is, this used to be an exciting and bustling place. But just a few days ago, something happened, and it seemed like... Like... The world was suddenly flipped upside down? Yes, exactly. Something fell from the central hub into the tent and knocked down the crystal light that was hanging at the top. Oh, the crystal light. Mm-hmm. I remember a certain someone said that we should have beautiful lights to celebrate at a fair, and made us that crystal light. But once the light fell, the tent became a complete mess and the Hydro Eidolans were trapped inside. Just when I was at my wit's end, a man from the Lawrence clan came and offered his assistance. Wait, he offered to help you? Lawrence. Yes, and he refused to listen to any of my warnings. He just walked straight into the tent, and then... Yes? And then? Yeah! Don't leave us hanging here! What happened? With a knife. And... That's it. He became trapped inside along with the Hydro Eidolans. <laughs> what a loser. Yeah, another victim. Oh no, we have to do something. We can't just leave him there, Maymuna. I know, but the situation inside might be more difficult than you think. You should mentally prepare yourselves. 
Just talking about it is a waste of time. Since we're already here, let's go and scout out the situation ourselves. <sighs> All right. This way, please. I don't want to get stuck trapped in there as well. This is going to be a bigger on the inside sort of thing. There used to be a large stage inside, but after everything got shaken up, it seems the very nature of the entire place was altered. The lamps and crystal light that were hanging above have all fallen down, which makes repairs near impossible. Wait, so you mean it's difficult to move around in there? Yes, mainly because of the lights. Do any of you have experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on... Luna Hopper 2, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome! Hope you enjoy the madness. I can't stand that feeling. Having everyone's attention focus solely on me would just make me feel terrible. Right now I'm just doing the new Genshin event in the new special area. I'm, in front of people. I'm waiting for my friend to get up. We're going to move to a different game. Oh, just the thought of it makes me shudder. A bit of a block nose, but that's about it. Sounds Everything like else needs to be going good. Some things you haven't been able to let go of yet. <sighs> Please don't laugh. I'm trying my best to change that, but there are still some things I can't overcome. Like when there's a lot of people around, or when people are staring at me. No, there's nothing funny about that. And you know what? It's not a bad thing to care when other people are looking. That's my opinion anyway. Think about it. Only people who have high standards for themselves would worry about failing to meet others' expectations. You have many good qualities, Kale. I bet if you had to learn dance since childhood like myself, then you'd be an even better dancer than me. No, no way! <laughs> that would be impossible. I can relate. I know exactly how she feels. Maybe we should find a time for you to learn with me. And one day, you will become an outstanding dancer, too. By that time, you'll be so focused on performing your beautiful moves that you'll no longer worry about an audience watching you. Wow. You are so passionate about this that she's practically glowing now. Really? You do that? You wouldn't think I look stupid and secretly laugh at me. You look break you? things. <laughs> you really think I'm that kind of person? Fine. Vengeance will be mine. <laughs> and no, there it goes. Of course not. I wait until she started quoting vengeance. Teach me. Seems there's no need for me to warn you again. Anyway, you just need to open the curtain and you'll be able to see the stage. <laughs> Early people have been trapped in here. Let's figure out a way to fix this. Looks like we need to raise the platform underneath the crystal light. I have a Discord in the panels below the stream. Join my Discord, we can talk there after stream. I have a panel below the stream, I don't have that set up. It seems we have to use the colorful lens to make the light change colors.
That's one way of shining new light on the problem. Hey, Maymuna, do you happen to know someone named Sino? No, never heard that name before. <laughs> what do you ask? Oh, never mind then. I know it's just thinking you two would have a lot in common. <clears throat> Back to the situation at hand. We should probably head into the passageway that opened now. Uh, the bad puns. Hello? Is anyone here? If you can hear me, please help! Sup, cousin? Lawrence? Who are you? Who has the audacity to utter my full name? You sure don't look like you're in any condition to be talking like that. Yep. He's a member of the Lawrence clan, all right. Even though he's hanging on by a thread, he still insists on clinging to meaningless etiquette. Where are you going, lady? You. What are you doing here? Huh. Have you come here to mock me, Eula? If you would just think for a moment, it should be pretty obvious why we are here. Yet, now you are intentionally trying to provoke me? Of course, you don't have to accept my help. After all, aristocrats are naturally superior and need no help from others. Yes, thanks for the reminder. I don't need help from the likes of you. I don't think he really needs it, Eula. His tone was harsh, but he keeps glancing at you from the corner of his eyes. It's my opinion as the healer that he needs help. Okay. <laughs> he's been trapped for so long that it seems he's forgotten how to hold a decent conversation. <laughs> how ridiculous. Let's go. We'll leave the stage to this person who'd rather save face than save his own life. Hey, no, no, wait! Uh, halt! You cannot just leave me here. We're both of the Lawrence bloodline, after all. Helping me when necessary certainly won't tarnish your prestige. If anything, my embarrassing predicament will be overshadowed by your virtuous deed. We must uphold the prestige and dignity of the family. This is the best reason you could come up with? You think tacking on the word family will be enough to talk me into helping you? You should be ashamed for your careless actions. It's because of you that we all had to come here. I... Uh... Seems everyone in the Lawrence clan is this way. They'll do anything to save face. You can go the way to save him. Looks like it's time for the mascot to step in. Here you go. One for Eula, and one for Lessig. What is this? Candy? Uh, thanks. Oh, the smell. It's just like the aroma I smell coming from the lens. Yes, candy, candy right. lens. Enjoying something sweet always lightens the mood. Oh, thank you, Miss Mascot. I certainly do feel much better now. <laughs> so he's willing to thank someone else, but not me. Eula has been worrying about you the past few days, and asked me several times regarding how to find you. But now that you two have been reunited, I won't have to keep answering her questions anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Let me clarify one thing. I don't care what happens to him. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Eula will never admit that she actually cares about him. Yeah, you're probably right. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Uh, then at least give me another piece of candy. Hmm? Oh, sure, sure. I, I still have more. Sorry, I admit my mistake. I know I've caused heaps of trouble for all of you. <laughs> Why couldn't you have just said that earlier? I'm back. Oh? Have you already finished catching up? Why are you all looking at me? Oh, uh, nothing. Don't mind us. 
All right, then let's clean things up here and keep working our way toward getting the crystal light fixed. Ah, there's no need to push yourself in your condition, Lessig. I'll take him and find some place for him to rest. I happen to be a little tired myself. All right. I'll of course you are, you lazy, you lazy lady. You'd better rest up and regain your strength before we settle things, Lessig. Uh, what are my Euler stats? Uh, using, using a main weapon. Of course, it's no blood. It's always no oblige. Oh, they gave me a C3. Now, let's see if there's any way to keep raising the platform higher. We probably will need to find a mechanism that's like a lamp. Strange. Is that really the Lessig that I know? You shouldn't always judge people based on the way you knew them before. People change, and people can always make different choices. Hmm. Oh, look! There's a water droplet over there! Ah, a Hydro Idolin! It must have been trapped in the curtain, but at least it seems to be okay. Genius. Wow. The Paimon thought it looked big from the outside. This place is massive! It is a magical tent, after all. The inside is much larger than it appears from the outside. Haven't you heard stories with this sort of thing before? Oh, another path has appeared! This should be the last level. Yes, don't worry. We're almost to the top of the tent. The last thing we need to do is raise the crystal light to the very top of the tent. After the stage collapsed, I realized that having it raised only halfway makes it look a lot like the stage at the Grand Bazaar. Have any of you visited the Grand Bazaar before? No, I haven't. I have. I've gone there a few times with Master Tainari. The place is bustling with all kinds of vendors. And if you're lucky, you can see Nilu perform her dance. Oh, a dance from Sumeru? <laughs> I'd like to see that myself. Hmm. If only it were on the way back, then we could stop there. It doesn't matter if it's on the way or not. I would be happy to take you whenever you have time, Eula. Great. I'll take you up on that offer. Yeah! Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, we've already been there more times than Paimon can remember. Really? My father used to help with festivities at the Grand Bazaar and would always give me candy during the events. I was just a kid and didn't understand anything. I was happy as long as he gave me some candy. To me, fairs and festivals were the best things ever. I always thought my father was amazing and wanted to be just like him when I grew up. But aren't you a scholar in the academia, Mimuna? As far as I know, scholars seldom could spend time doing anything but research. I doubt you could have time to assist your father in preparing festivities. Yeah, seems you read me like a book. When I had the choice between becoming who I wanted to be and who my parents wanted me to be, I ended up choosing the latter. But I was never happy about it. Huh. That's almost the exact opposite of Eula's situation. You must have already realized that. Why else would you set up all the booths here and make this place like a fairgrounds? Yes, but... I'm still not as happy as I imagined I would be. 
I realized that attending a fair and running a fair are two completely different things. The main reason my childhood was so fun and carefree is because my family worked hard. But my father knew how difficult and tiring running a fair could be, so he wanted to push me towards academics. <sighs> but in the end, I didn't do well in either. I gave up on myself and resorted to investigating ley lines in the desert. Some things happened and then I accidentally ended up here. I finally had a chance to make my wish of running a fair come true. But after seeing everything come crashing down, I feel like I've lost the strength to go on. It's not as bad as you make it out to be, Maimuna. No need to feel so down. You have the courage to change, and you've been actively guiding us on this journey. Someone who's given up on themselves could never do these things. Oh, Kale. I understand my situation better than anyone. You don't need to try to comfort me. It's not that I'm trying to comfort you. It's just that people sometimes don't realize that their actions speak louder than words. Believe me, this is something that I learned from my time together with Eula. Oh, what are you trying to say? Run, Kale. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <clears throat> Now, let's get that crystal light fixed. You'll have a vengeance. Right. Yes, the lens is made of materials that are easily melted by light. Is it me, or do I smell something sweet here? If we're going to raise the crystal light, then we need to open the top of the tent. There we go. Ooh, that got fancier. Rising up through the sky. Time process just wooden side of bolts, slided bolts onto them. Hey, Idea! We're back! Oh, I was starting to wonder what was taking you so long. But don't worry, Lessig is recovering well. <laughs> I'm pretty good at taking care of people. Seems I've found another good thing about myself. I should be worried for him or <laughs> happy for her. Uh, the shadow. It's massive. Uh, wait. The shadow just now. It's. Uh. uh <laughs> seems he still might need a little more time to recover. Tell me, did everything go well for you all? Of course. With a team like the Traveler, Paimon, Kale, and Eula. They're at least 40 times more reliable than you ever were. <laughs> Only 40 times Put me in a bikini. more reliable? That means I'm still pretty good then. <sighs> I guess it's impossible to feel like you've lost once you've already given up. 
I'm a little concerned about how comfortable you are with that. Huh? What has happened? How did I get outside of the tent? Ah, oh, that's right. I remember meeting you, La, and then... Uh, and then... Oh, my head. Oh, you're awake now. Uh, don't worry. Th that's just a side effect of your treatment, Lessig. I'm afraid I still feel a little disoriented. I thought what kind of treatment he's receiving. Lessig Lawrence. Oh, it's you, Eula. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'll come back to Mondstadt with you and abandon my wild efforts to restore the Lawrence clan. Interesting. Now you want to talk. Seems like you've had a change of heart. In that case, maybe you'll be able to explain everything in detail for us now. I... Uh, I admit it, yes. I came here in hopes of finding a way to restore the Lawrence clan to its former glory. But it was a long journey, and I didn't always know the way. I passed through Liyue and Sumeru. There was even a time when I lost my wallet and had to live in the wild. <clears throat> but the peculiar thing is, I realized that nobody knew me out there. And not a single person even cared about the Lawrence clan. You and I are like glass pawns that were raised in shackles. We were taught to act like nobles, but outside the walls of our home, the people of Mondstadt despised us. Such pompous, hateful, and stubborn teaching. It all culminated to making us cling to the old aristocratic dogma in an attempt to maintain our pride. It's like a never-ending game of tug-of-war. But it is meaningless. You understand. Or I should say, you have already long understood. But I'm afraid that I have only just realized this. Hmm. Paimon sorta understands what Lessig is saying. Everything he said is true. Your family is probably unaware that you've already changed how you see things. Yes. This has all happened recently. After coming to this domain, I realized the Mondstadt that I want is one where not everyone fears me. All that I and many other members of the Lawrence clan long for is a place where we can live peacefully with others. Lessig, both you and I never had anything to do with the glory of the Lawrence clan. That is all in the past. We are just ordinary people. <sighs> I originally planned on returning to Mondstadt after taking care of things here. I never thought you would come here. I was completely shocked, which is why I reacted like I did. I'm sorry. See, people can always make different choices, and it seems that Lassik has also chosen to become someone he truly wants to be. <clears throat> yes, about that. I'm afraid I haven't quite found my own purpose in life yet. That's all right. Being able to clearly choose between becoming who you want to be and who your parents wanted you to be is already a step in the right direction. How to find true happiness is probably one of the most difficult research topics of all. I have a suggestion for you, Lessig. Why don't you return to Mondstadt and tell your parents what you just told us? They'll probably try to tear me limb from limb. But what about you? Did you ever tell your family about what you think? This is something that I've been thinking about, too. Perhaps the two of us can sit down with the rest of the clan and discuss it with them. The Lawrence clan is just like this stage. It was once home to glorious performances, but those days are now long gone. And it is time for the stage to be updated. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open, like an ice cube. Is that why she's able to dance any time and anywhere she wishes? Um, are you all done talking now? Yes, Rude. I think so. By the way, that is for you. Please take it. I found it on Lessig earlier. Peace we needed. Oh, it's one of the missing components! Wait. So you had it all this time? Why didn't you give it to me earlier? Well, you didn't ask. 
All right, I admit it. I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, we'll let the traveler hold on to it for now. Hmm? Wait, this looks like... It looks pretty familiar. Have we seen one of these before? Candy! Oh, right! I also bought a similar box at the last festival. Yes, people often use this kind of box for candy at festivals. This was one of the materials originally used to create the tent. But now that the tent has been repaired, we no longer need it. Free candy. Eating the candy from the box as an adult will never be as delicious as it was when you were a kid. But if you really think about it, there are way more things you can eat as an adult. Ah, so when it comes down to it, eating candy is sort of like life. It's just another choice. Hmm. So, as of now, we've already collected three of the missing components. Only one more to go. I'm sorry that repairing the tent took so much of everyone's time. You should all head back and have a rest. I'll lead the way. There's so much exploring to do around here. Please give me some makers. I need makers. You're not giving me any makers. I'll drop it. We saved a while back. You gonna give us a chest? Once it's changed the lamp colors. <laughs> Gotta find some mirrors. I can see the chest, gang. You don't need to point it out. What are you fellas doing? They're just dancing. You all right? Ah. I want me to dive in the I water. No need. <laughs> that looks like a hide and seek. Oh no, follow the one. Okay, follow this one. It's actually gonna be hard this time. This is sent one all three times. But Get better at puzzles.
Oh god, he turned to a chest and he just ripped him open. There's a lot of chests in this area. What are you arguing about? I see. Grab this one. Throw it in there. Grab this one. Throw it in there. Push lamp. Draw your target out of hiding. Is that all you got? Take it easy. What are you planning? Where you going, buddy? Give me just a little side quest area. Meat, delicious, delicious meat. Brings a smile to my face. Hey, piggy. Do all the challenges in this area to unlock the chest. 
this is a, this is just be a run challenge. You fool! I'm using Elon. Way to draw your target out of hiding. There's a party favor until a chest here. There's the party favor. Good. I don't want to play hide and seek. Ah, oh, okay. The hide and seek challenge. Yeah. Get Rex Grubs. Oh, your chest that belong to me. Run. Take it easy. I'm back where I was before. Some nerds. There is no escape. Busted. A chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues. There's one chest and one party favor still up pretty high. Good thing there's a lift right here. Ascend me, Captain. Rise me to the moon. This <laughs> ain't shit. <laughs> Another mirror puzzle. I'll rotate this one. through the lights. Can I reach it? Yes. Aha! Loot! Easy money. Okay, Erno's ready. Oh, is there a Hello, no. So you have to get downloaded? Yep. But now that you're here, I'm gonna do a Eula pull and see if I get Eula. Out of spite. What do you mean out of spite? If I can spite you. Huh? I mean, I no. already have Eula. Nope, I'm up to 10 raises. 
I still haven't got maxed out Miki yet. Okay. Do the data check it and I'll stop over. But yeah, I just okay. did I just finished the big tent mission. Looks like I'm going to full pity on this. Welcome to Genshin. <laughs> I've been like that for a while. Okay then. Let's update the game title. And move on to the next game. 